So if you guys found this video helpful, comment down in the comment section below and let me know if you guys like this style of video or if you want to see any other styles of videos for ponds or like how to bank fish, anything like that, I'd be more than happy to make for you guys. What is going on everybody? It's Austin from PNW Bass in here and I just wanted to say welcome back to another video. Today we are actually going to be talking about how to find the best ponds to fish in your area with the biggest bass and help you guys catch more fish this coming season in 2019. So let's hit that intro and get started in the video. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started in the video, I just want to say if you guys are a current subscriber or if you guys are looking to join the family of PW Bassin, I'm going to be starting a new program called Photo of the Day, but pretty much how it works is you guys send in your fishing pictures or pictures on an adventure to my Instagram at PNW Bassin. Should be listed out right here. And I'm gonna pick one photo a day or per video and I'm just gonna give you guys a shout out. I think it's gonna help us connect a lot better. We're gonna be able to talk a lot more and maybe even talk about that day of fishing with you guys. I just think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you guys are interested in photo of the day, follow me on Instagram right here and all you gotta do is DM me your fish pictures and you will see yourself in one of my videos. So let's get right into this. Pretty much how this video is gonna work out. I'm gonna show you guys how I find my ponds. This was a question that I asked myself so much when I first started fishing and that is how do I find these ponds? How do I find new fishing places? You know, I just wanna catch some fish and I'm having a hard time finding new places to fish. One of my main issues was I didn't have a boat or a raft or a kayak or anything that sort that could get me out on the water because a lot of the lakes in my area only had boat access because there's a bunch of houses all the way around it and that was the only way we could fish. So this little trick that I'm gonna show you today is actually a way that I found so, so many, probably all of the ponds that I fished throughout high school. And to be honest, more places have fish than you guys would think. I mean, I've gone into some places where I'm like, there is absolutely no way that there's fish in here. It's just like some dr drainage thing. And I promise you guys, there is most likely fish in those places. Very surprising, I know, but you guys have to give it a try. Give it a try in a good time of year. Don't give up too quick on these places because you will be really surprised on how nice of fish are in these places. So let's jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you guys this little trick that I have. Okay guys, welcome to my computer. Um, we're gonna go to Google first. I want you guys to type in Google Earth and boom. Hit the first link that you guys see there. Boom, there we go. We're gonna come over here and click this little fancy fly to my location deal. I apologize for the slow processing speeds of my Wi-Fi today. So we're gonna start out in my town right here, which is Ellensburg. You know, this is, I am new to this town. Um, I just started college here last year. And uh, as you can see by looking at it from this far, you can already see a few juicy looking ponds from this far up. First, you gotta find your town. That's the first step here. The second thing is, it takes time. That's what you gotta think about. Like, you're not just gonna come up here, oh look, there's a pond. First of all, that pond might not be open to the public, it could be private. And I don't think you're gonna be able to fish that. So what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to take some time you're gonna have to look around for these ponds until you find a good looking pond to fish. I have lived here for over a year now, so I do know a lot of the ponds that are pretty good in this area. And it just takes time to find out which ponds are good. You gotta take your time, go fish them in the spring, maybe leave a mark on each pond and try to mark one off. You know, go to one each day in the springtime and maybe you guys can find which one is the best. All right guys, so just for the video's sake, I'm just gonna hop into this main lake or pond right here. I have been here before and as you can see it is a probably a decent size compared to a dock and the cars down there. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually walk around this place. It looks like there's a path leading all the way up to here and I'm sure you guys could walk in the bushes a little bit and walk quite a ways around. Looks like you got the freeway right there and it looks like there's another pull off. So I would say that you could walk all the way around this, which is perfect for a ton of baying fishermen. There's not too many places like this where you can find and actually catch a lot of fish. Um, so the next thing that I like to do is look at the clarity of the place. The clarity of this pond looks actually really good. Um, if you look over here, you can kind of see that bank outline right there. And a lot of other places, they might have points that you can try fishing. 
you just kind of got to pay attention to the details. I mean, one thing that catches my eye right now is that tree right there. You're like, what are you talking about? Yeah, dude, it's just a tree. Well, that tree is sticking in the water, and I bet you if you go there, you're going to catch a fish. That's just some more cover in the water. And now that I look at it a little bit more, here we go. You can see, I don't know what that is out there. Maybe a tree sticking up or a log. Uh, you can see some you can see some nice grass right here in the shallows and more trees sticking in the water. Mm. That looks like bass heaven right there. They got a nice launch, so I mean even if you do even if you do have a boat, that is a great place to try. Um, there might be fish under that dock. Looks like there's a big old bunch of trees right there. So I mean that is one way that you guys can kind of look at a pond and just kind of prepare yourself for when you actually go there. Um, another trick that I have recently learned is when you are in Google Earth, you come over here to maybe the hamburger menu and turn on photos here. And when you do this, look at that. Looks like we have some photos from around the area. Well, there was a lot more photos, but let's click on this right here and kind of check it out. So look, you got some reeds up there in the shallows. You got a nice crane right there. Let's see. Okay, okay. You can kind of see like the layout of the pond, which is pretty nice. It looks like these guys are trout fishing or something or carp fishing, cat fishing. Not sure what these guys are doing, but Looks like there's a few different types of species in there other than bass. And we're just going to kind of go through these pictures and kind of get a hint of what this place really looks like. There's that dock that we were talking about earlier. It looks like there's a lot of bushes on the siding. So, I mean, from the top, it didn't look like there was that much. And it looked like you could walk around it super easily. But from here, it, you might have a little issue casting around these trees. Might be a good thing as well. You never know. But this is an amazing tip that you guys can use to help you guys catch more fish, kind of learn about these places, and um, you know, just test it out. Look, that guy has a, actually a pretty big boat out there. Lots of fishermen. So that might be one more thing that you guys think about is you might not want to go there on a weekend because there's going to be a lot of people there, a bunch of lines in the water in your way, and ooh, that's what I was talking about. We saw that. That is from that corner that we were looking at. There's that shallow grass. Maybe throw a, a Texas rig up in that or even a frog. Just looks so nice i bet you if you cast it in there you probably would catch a pretty decent bass i think this is just a great tool to help us kind of figure out what this place is kind of like and that looks like it's the boat launch right there um, but that is an awesome tip that i want you guys to try out uh, make sure you turn on photos so you can see what's going on around this area so if you look right across the street this looks like it's private as well so I mean, what's nice is looking at Google Earth, you might say, hey, maybe I can go ask these businesses, hey, is that pond private back there? Are we allowed to fish it? Or something like that. They might have access to it. I'm not really sure who owns this pond. Um, I've never fished this one either. And it's making me kind of interested to see what's in store. One way to find new ponds is actually go ask people, like find these houses, where they are, what houses you think own the own the land and you can go ask them. We're gonna come down here to some more ponds that I know about. Okay, so here are some more ponds that I fish quite often and that is just off this main road here. What's super cool about this is how clear it is and you can actually see it from above here. And this is what I was talking about earlier when looking at ponds, you wanna look at the depth. So I mean, looking at this place and knowing it just in my head, you can see so much of that shallow area that's a big flat right there. It looks like it comes up, up in the middle right there. And it is kind of hard to tell on this Google Earth image here, but I can tell you that it does come up really shallow there from deep water. Now I know that Google Earth is telling the truth and it's a great tool that you guys can use. So maybe you even want to be fishing in this area. I mean, you got another boat right there. I don't know what that is, a kayak or something. Is that me? That's me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you guys. But, I mean, that guy's fishing over there. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. Give that a try over there. It does look like there's a lot of trails walking around this, which there is. Lots of access points to fish here. And, hey, if this first pond doesn't work, jump over to this pond over here. That pond doesn't work, jump over to this one. Jump over to that one. It's just super cool and an easy way to find out, like, 
is there more ponds over there? Because if you're driving down the road, you find this pond over here, you've never been there before, you might not know that there's a pond here, 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 and right over here. So always jump on Google Earth, find the area, see what it looks like, and you guys will catch more fish. I promise you guys that for sure. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit more and I'm just gonna tell you guys, don't be afraid to explore. I wanna give you guys a mission this next year and that is get on Google Earth. I want you to go to your local town and I want you to pin every single pond in your area. We're gonna be putting a pond, we're gonna be putting a pin here, 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 here. Yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of ponds in this area and I want you guys to go out and try to fish every single pond in your area because once you do that, you will literally find the best places to fish. The thing is, you just gotta give them a little bit of time, give it some effort, and um, you will find the better places to fish. It is gonna take a little time, like I was saying. You can't, just, you can't just expect to go to a brand new pond that you have never fished before and just slay them out there, unless you're like me or Kim Van Dam. Not a big difference there. Anyway, so that's what I want you guys to do. Go pin some places, get out there, explore, try new things. And uh, I hope you guys the best of luck and I hope you guys catch some Mondo fish. All right guys, so I hope you like those tips on finding new ponds and I really want you guys to explore. Try that pinning tip that I kind of showed you guys. Get out there, try new things and don't give up because I know usually once you get to a place that you have never fished before, things can be kind of tough. You gotta, you have to kind of figure it out, take some time, you know, break down that pond, maybe hit it into sections and uh, once you do that, you're just gonna start catching more fish, more fish, and more fish. And once you limit out these ponds, see which ones are better, which ones suck, which ones don't even have fish, you're gonna have these few ponds all around your area that nobody else knows about how good they are besides you because you took the time, you fished them, you learned them, you found everything out for yourself. And I can tell you guys, if you do this, you will be very thankful and it will definitely pay off. You guys are gonna catch so many more fish. This was always a question of mine when I first started fishing, so I decided, you know, I'm gonna make this video maybe help a few people out. And hopefully I did. So if you guys found this video helpful, comment down in the comment section below and let me know if you guys liked this style of video or if you wanna see any other styles of videos for ponds or like how to bank fish, anything like that, I'd be more than happy to make for you guys. And also before the video is over, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram right here and send in your fishing photos so you can be featured in photo of the day on my YouTube channel. And I think it's gonna be a blast at doing this new kind of photo thing, get in contact with you guys a lot more. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope, hope, hope it helped you guys a lot. And you guys better send me some of these pictures of these massive fish that you're gonna catch all around your local area. So other than that, I just wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by the video if you have not yet. Click that subscribe button down below. It would mean so much to me. And drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next video.